hey, this video just looks a little bit at histograms and how those can help you when you are looking through your value practice and your final value image and just through working with light and shadows to see what you have. Here's an image that I took during our high key day and I knew I was working high key so I used some natural lighting. It was a, kind of a diffused uh, overcast morning and I used the white forks on top of some white painted area on the parking lot. And um, I'm going to click on my histogram which it looks like this little like graph here on your um, tool options here, your menu options. And here is my histogram. It is kind of telling me um, where my values are. I'm going to change this image to black and white. Open my histogram again. That's a little bit easier now. Um, it had like the whole um, colored area. But now when it's in black and white, here's our histogram. So it seems like most of my values are in the middle. If you have a lot of your histogram toward the left, that would mean you have a lot of darks. And if you have your histogram here more on the right, it means you have a lot of light. So I need, I want to push this to be a little bit more high key. So I'm going to open my levels. And levels will also have a histogram. And I can... Um, as you can see here, I'm adding, if I move this over, I'm changing my histogram so that more of that is located. Um, if we were to kind of cut off from here, um, more of that is located on the right-hand side of the screen. So that is one way to kind of push your levels a little bit um, so that you can create that feeling here, lighter, so you can use some um, auto things as well. I'm just going to go back to default. Lighten this up a little bit. And I might also use curves. Kind of pull that up a little bit. And now I can check my histogram. So as you can see, I've moved my histogram um, from the middle to now more to the right, so I've created more of a high key image here. I am going to go to low key, because that's the second thing we did. This is a low key image that I've already edited and changed. I actually did this editing in, um, um, in Instagram, but whatever. Um, as you can see, most of my values on the histogram are on the left, so that's indicating that it is mostly in low key. Um, I have this uh, tenebrism example from our um, from our slides and as you can see we have most of our values in dark but then shh, bam the sharp drastic highlight there that is indicated um, so you can kind of see on this histogram that that is an example of tenebrism and the next thing we need to do is look at chiaroscuro. So I pulled open this image for chiaroscuro, and chiaroscuro is something we kind of looked for in our first um, looking versus scene image. But here, um, my histogram shows kind of, there's quite a bit of darks here. It's probably reading this solid black area here. Um, there's some pretty dark blacks. But as you can see, there's a lot happening in this histogram. Um, we pretty much have all the values. Now I could go ahead and maybe open curves a little bit and get some more um, sharp whites in there possibly and let's see what that does to my histogram. Not a whole lot. Um, so it might be if I want to bring in more highlights um, I could keep trying some different edits but this the way that I had it before I think I think was fine. Um, I think that showed a pretty pretty full range there. Maybe I didn't have those sharp whites jabbing up there but I think this definitely shows some three-dimensionality and we have some good shadowing happening here. Um, so again just to review you need a high key image, you need a low key image, you need an image for tenebrism and you need an image for chiaroscuro. Um, you could 
um, label more than those four um, to show further exploration, which always helps your mining. But just please indicate and save those properly so that I can see what you know.